that one with I'm Ready. It's about 20 minutes away from 8 o'clock. Celeste Anthony on the homecoming, a Thursday evening. And of course, you know what that means. Welcome back to another edition of Corona Wise or hashtag Corona Wise as I like to call it. Of course, your chance to ask, comment and share any COVID-19 related stories and information that you might have. And all you need to do while we have this conversation is WhatsApp. 072-991-0467. That's 072-991-0467. Now, CoronaWise is here to encourage communities to come together in stopping the spread of COVID-19 because we're basically all in this together. And this is your chance to ask those questions that you might have had. You might have heard something that you want the facts about. And because we're all here for each other and together, all of us in South Africa, we need to become CoronaWise. Now, of course, more and more people are getting infected, and we now unfortunately know of people who have passed away um, after con uh, contracting um, COVID-19, but we also know of people um, who have passed away, right? But it is important to remember how we respond to corona and COVID-19 is a book that's not yet been written, and we all have a role to play and to see how the story will unfold. Now, we need to look, we, we need to be looking out for each other. We say this every single week. We especially need to look out for those older than 55, our parents, our grandparents, and those with chronic illnesses. So we need to wear a mask to protect others, and we need to wash our hands to protect others. And it's not only about physical distancing, but it's also about social solidarity. Remember that none of us really are safe unless all of us are safe. And coronavirus, COVID-19 lockdown has really come to remind us that we are all interconnected and that we all need solidarity now more than ever so before. Today on the show, I am joined by Erica. She's on the line with me over the telephone. And while we have this conversation, I do remind you uh, to send those questions through 72 And you can also check us out on Facebook and give us a follow over there, hashtag CoronaWise. Erica's on the line. Erica, please tell us a bit more about yourself and how COVID-19 has affected you. Uh, hello. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm a permaculturist and a financial management consultant specializing in business intelligence and system design. I'm a horse rider, snowboarder, and a rock climber. Uh, my business plans have been on hold since March, so essentially I'm unemployed. Uh, I was already a hermit on the hill, but I've never spoken to as many people as I have in the last five months. Many wow. incredible and inspiring human beings. Um, I started with Food Aid through Solaris Pass and Somerset West Community Action Network. And by May, I realized that the government aid was really smoke and mirrors. And decide the only way out of this is if everybody does it for themselves. And the first step is growing your own food. So the CTT Food Growers Initiative has started. Wow, how's that been going? Uh, it's been going amazingly. Um, um, you can actually, wow. if you want to get involved, find us on Facebook. Uh, we have a group, uh, Food Growers Initiative. Oh, yes, please give us those details. <laughs> Um, I certainly will. It's called CTT Food Growers Initiative on Facebook. And there's also uh, Somerset West uh, CAN uh, as a page on Facebook. All right. Erica, what steps have you taken um, during this time working with individuals to protect yourself and also your loved ones? Well, everything that I've uh, done in the last five months has been done remotely through social media, uh, telephone okay. calls. <laughs> Um, and uh, I started self-isolating in March really because I'm actually uh, high risk um, and I got more time to spend with family um, but if you think it through nobody's safe unless everybody's safe and you've got to start 100%. with your own community um, so we started off with providing information for COVID safety but uh, that quickly turned to food aid so the hunger and economic pandemic is much mm -hmm. larger and more urgent yeah um, and food that's it's not sustainable. It's actually a survival imperative to find a way out of this together. Erica, this this virus has been there's so many facets. It's physical, emotional, social, economic, finance, everything you can think of basically. How have you coped during this time? Well, um having a meaning and a purchase has helped me cope. Um Okay, okay. Uh, facilitating mm. the, the Food Crows Initiative um, has really given me a reason to get out of bed in the morning. Um, okay. It gives so much hope and inspiration and purpose to the members, 
they give it back to me a hundred times over. Erica Inches right here on Good Hope FM. Member of Food Growers Can Growing Food across the city of Cape Town. And uh, we're on the line with her. We'll be chatting more to her about that initiative and how she's coping and dealing with COVID-19. Stay connected with us. I do remind you when we come back, you can WhatsApp us on 72 0467 Also give us a follow on our Facebook page. The COVID-19 pandemic has changed all our lives and we now have to learn how to work safely with the coronavirus. Here are some tips when going to work. If you are feeling unwell, stay at home. Always wear a face mask that covers your nose and mouth. Choose simple clothing that can be easily washed. Avoid wearing accessories like belts, watches and other jewelry items. Wash your hands thoroughly for 20 seconds when arriving at work. Maintain social distancing. No hugging and no kissing. Stay at home if you can work remotely. Good Hope FM wants to work safely with COVID-19. Let's stop the spread. One one throw throw back throw back Thursday. Oh, it's good. Never sounded so good. It's throw back Thursday now on Good Hope FM. Uh, you can see the sun shining. Welcome back to another edition of Hashtag CoronaWise. Your opportunity to ask questions, share your stories, and even ask for information regarding COVID-19. 72 is the way you connect with us um, and ask those questions. And you can also give us a follow on Facebook, and that page is also called CoronaWise. On the line with me this evening, I've got uh, Erica Inches, and uh, she's been chatting to us about COVID-19 and the role uh, that she's playing in the great fight. She's a member of the Food Growers Can, growing food across the city with multiple cans to set up sustainable food systems for South Africans. Erica, what is, um, we spoke about, Erica, can you hear me? Yes, hello. Oh, there you are. Um, Erica, I have to ask you um, we've been in lockdown for I think about 139 days or so, and I think it's really been a time of growing for all of us. What are, what are, what is the most significant thing that you've learned during this pandemic? Um, I've learned that it's possible with all our differences to work together across class and cultural lines. We can join the dots at the speed of trust. Uh, I've learned that community is the most important. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I have to agree with you. That is also one thing that has stood on for me. I always say, so the Africans, regardless of what goes on politically and things we always fight about, I've really seen in this time that the Ubuntu spirit really is alive in South Africa. There we go. What advice would you give to others about corona, um, coro being corona-wise, actually? Because being corona-wise is the only way we'll stop spreading COVID-19. Yeah, we have to emancipate ourselves. Um, we have to look after ourselves, um, and, and one way is, is growing your own food. Um, you have to find a way uh, to work out a way out of where we are right now. Um, and there's so many innovative people in Cape Town. <laughs> mm -hmm. I have to ask you real quick for anyone listening and, and, and the spark just went off in their head and they're thinking, I'm going to grow my own food. What are the like five maybe or six basic things I need to start to have to start growing my own food? Um, your first most important thing is to observe. Uh, observe okay. your space where you want to grow your own food uh, and try and do it in a way that uh, works with nature. Um, you, you'll uh, be successful that way rather than trying to work against it. <laughs> um, and secondly, uh, get real seeds, uh, get heirloom seeds, uh, because they will uh, be able to form their own seeds and you only need to go and buy seeds again. Okay. Um, and thirdly, work with other people. Uh, speak to your neighbors. Uh, there's many people with different bits of knowledge and you can put it all together. Yeah. Erica, thank you so much for sharing that knowledge with us. And thank you so much for doing what you're doing in this very difficult time. I really commend you. I applaud you. I take my hat off to you. And thank you so much. And everyone else that works with you as well. Before I say goodbye, any last words for our listeners at home? Um, yes. Get together at a safe distance with your neighbors and plant whatever food works in your garden and share it. 
use alternative economies with the talent system and the strata or, or barter um, and, and join us to create a food forest out of Cape Town and be part of turning an African begging bowl into an African emancipation legend. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Erica, thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time to speak to us on Good Hope FM. Have yourself a fant fantastic evening. Also, please be safe while you're out there. Thank you very much for this opportunity. And hello, everybody. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much, Erica, to you at home. Thank you so much for joining us on Good Hope FM. Remember, we chat about this every Tuesday and Thursday. And you can WhatsApp us at 72 0467 And also give us a follow on Facebook, that is, and that Facebook page is called Corona Wise. Now, remember, next week, Tuesday and Thursday, we do this again. Stay safe, keep your loved ones safe, and save lives.